Hey everyone. Thank you for your continued love and support, and we hope you're all having a great weekend so far. Psych2Go's vision is to make psychology acceptable for everyone, as well as occasionally covering topics around mental health. Our mission is to help everyone become more self-aware of the various psychological factors that affect one's life. One central aspect of life is school. So watch along to find out how school is affecting your mental health. School is often considered a positive place where students can learn, play, and build friendships in a safe environment. Most students enjoy school as they get to meet new people, spend time with their friends, and socialize. However, several factors of school can be negative to a student's mental health. Here are five ways school can be harmful to your mental health and some hacks to tackle them. One, bullying. Despite the safe environment that schools provide for socializing, Bullying among students is rather common in schools. According to a survey conducted by Ditch the Label in 2019, an estimated six in 10 youths experience some form of bullying throughout their lives, especially with the prevalence of social media. The process of cyberbullying carries on even outside of school. And of course, being a victim of bullying can negatively affect an individual's mental well-being. It was found out in a Graham study that victims of bullying often have low self-esteem and are at higher risk of developing anxiety and depression due to reasons such as peer isolation and physical abuse. The trick is to not be afraid of speaking out. There are recorded instances where the situation got better when parents or teachers got involved. Same is the case with cyberbullying. If we let those we trust know about it, they're sure to help us resolve and cope with it. Social media platforms are increasingly becoming well-equipped with functions that can help with cyberbullies, such as blocking and filtering. It can, however, be difficult dealing with cyberbullying due to the free access of the web. Therefore, if you feel overwhelmed, it's important to disconnect every now and then. Two, academic results. Stress from academics can cause harm to an individual's mental health as well. It's all about getting that A in school, so students feel pressured to excel in their academics. The pressure also stems from other sources, such as expectations from teachers and parents, and even self-expectations. It has been found that academic stress in students often develops into anxiety. It gives way to low self-esteem due to fears of inferiority or depression from the inability to live up to expectations, which in turn could affect their academic results even further. Communicating with teachers and parents helps relieve the exam stress a great deal. Taking assistance for aspects of academics that are causing stress can also give you a new perspective. Group study or associating with peers facing the same difficulties helps you to see you're not alone in this. They can guide and help you overcome these difficulties step by step. Although grades are an important element of our academics, it's not the only factor that dictates our future. Having self-reassurance can also help when dealing with academic stress. Three, assignments. Assignments after a long day of school are a hassle no less. It overwhelms students knowing that they have to invest their much cherished free time to complete their assignments. In a survey by Phoenix University, it was found that high school students are laden with 17.5 hours of homework per week. Constantly having the thought of unfinished work on their minds takes the fun out of enjoying some downtime. This is another reason for anxiety in students. Submission deadlines are a further add-on to stress. Having many assignments to do is one thing, but not knowing how to do these assignments can further increase stress as well. A tried and tested way of reducing the burden is to plan and pace the amount of assignments to complete within a time frame. Students beat themselves up too much about not knowing the answers to questions. Asking friends instead for guidance enables you to learn more. However, if you reach out to your teacher, they may provide you with a deadline extension. You never know. Four, socializing. Making friends at school comes naturally to some of us, whereas some of us find ourselves struggling to make friends. Having no friends in school can be really tough. A Gallup poll revealed that by high school, only four in 10 students qualify as engaged. Being unable to adjust takes a further toll on their mental health. It may induce loneliness and can lead to feelings of inferiority. Feeling as if no one wants to befriend you can also be harmful to your self-esteem. If these feelings of inferiority are left unchecked, it could develop into something more severe. 
Social isolation by peers can also be detrimental to our mental health, as it is somewhat a form of being bullied. A good mindset to have when trying to make friends at the start is to understand that it can be awkward, but you shouldn't worry too much. Finding common topics to talk about helps with bonding. You can always try talking about school and the conversation may flow into other topics naturally. If you are someone who usually keeps to yourself, wearing a smile can make you look friendlier and more approachable. Five, long hours. Having classes that run from morning to evenings can be very draining, not only physically, but mentally as well. Long school days can potentially lead to fatigue that can adversely affect our health without sufficient rest. A survey conducted in collaboration with the Born This Way Foundation, a charitable organization founded by singer Lady Gaga, asked students how they felt in school. 39% of the students simply answered that they were tired, with 29% answering stressed. The researcher who led the study warns that such negative feelings can influence young people's attention, memory, decision-making, school performance, and social lives. Long hours can often lead to loss of interest in doing other activities after school due to fatigue. Feeling tired or sleepy also makes us more emotional. One way to cope is to accept that you're not alone in this. When everyone else talks to each other about it, it helps reduce mental stress and provides a small boost in your mood. As for the physical aspect, some sweets or snacks can also help you keep your energy levels up. If you feel sleepy, you can try sneaking in short naps in between breaks to recharge a little. School, one word, but a different meaning for every person. It's considered essential to succeed, but in truth is an unending series of life lessons. Did any of these points remind you of yourself? Were you able to relate to some of these feelings? Do you easily succumb to stress due to similar situations at school? If so, try and incorporate these hacks mentioned to do away with some of your stress triggers. They may just be the very thing you need. Also, remember to share this video with someone you think might benefit from these as well. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more content. As always, thanks for watching.